If you are a fan of softball, you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show. From softballjunk.com, we're bringing you more softball than anyone on the planet. Sit back and get ready. Here's the Fast Pitch TV show. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Fast Pitch TV Show. I'm your host, Gary Leland, and I hope you enjoy this episode for sure. Now, when you get a chance, please take a look at my website. That is www.fastpitch.tv. The Fast Pitch TV website has more free softball content than anywhere else on the planet by far. Now, this week I have an interview with former Olympian, softball great, Danielle Henderson. But before that starts... Please watch this short video about my softball magazine, which you can find at fastpitchmagazine.com. Oops, sorry. I was reading this month's issue of the Fast Pitch Magazine. What? You're not familiar with the Fast Pitch Magazine? Watch this. You are going to love it. Looks great, right? Want to find more about the number one coaching tool on the internet? Go to fastpitchmagazine.com today. I want to thank you for joining me today. This is another accomplishment of my quest to interview every Olympian, which has been quite a task. Thanks for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. Hey, first I want to go, though, kind of into the history, your history. How did you get involved with softball? How old were you? Give us a little early softball history. Um, I think I was a little bit different than most people. Um, I played softball when I was really young, but I didn't start pitching windmill until I was uh, in 10th grade, so I was 15 years old. And it's funny now because these girls are committed to colleges by the age of 15, and I didn't even pick up a ball to, to pitch windmill. Um, I got a late start. I, I was lucky enough to have a coach um, that saw some potential, went to college, and, and kind of grew there and, and blossomed there. Um, you know, it might have been good because I didn't have the wear and tear, so I could be the workhorse and, and put it in, but I just have loved softball um, my whole life, and I, I still love it, and and that's why I, I like coaching, because I get to, to give back to the sport where so many people have, have given to me. Um, I'm also different. I'm, I'm from New York. I went to school in Massachusetts. I, I coach in Massachusetts now, so uh, there aren't many of us from the Northeast and in that cold weather climate that, so, that have done it. So that's a little bit of different yeah. source, not only from the Northeast, but 15 years old is when you started the windmill. Were you, was that high school? Yeah. Um, I remember in ninth grade being on a team throwing just slingshot, and they said if you want to go to college, you have to learn how to pitch windmill. Um, so I spent the whole summer and the whole fall and winter learning how to throw a windmill, and probably the first year I did it, it was uh, a disaster. <laughs> it just, I, it was a good game if I walked under double t digits, <laughs> you know? I was just somebody who was tall, who could throw hard, and, you know, it just stuck with it then. Well, speaking of slingshot, now, Joan Joy says uh -huh. that's still a good pitch. <laughs> <laughs> she says girls should still be throwing the slingshot. I've seen video of her throwing it. I don't know if many people could throw that at 70 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she can, she likes yeah. the slingshot still. So uh, now when you got out of high school, did you play in college? Yep, um, I played at, at uh, UMass, um, and I was lucky enough to have a coach that really, you know, helped me and helped me grow and um, believed in me when I, you know, I saw the Olympics in 96, and I just fell in love with it and said, that's somewhere that I want to be. And while well, everybody else laughed at me, she said, all right, you know, let's figure out how to, how to do that. And we had success. We made it to the World Series, and... I think being able to be seen on that stage by many people you helped get my foot in the door for, for that. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going full circle. Now you're coaching yes. at UMass. Uh, I'm at UMass Lowell. Okay. It's a different school. Um, but I, I decided I wanted to coach because I got so many things in life just through the sport of softball. And 
I thought it would be great if I could just give that back to, to somebody else. What would you say was the biggest obstacle you may have had to overcome to get to the point of where you're at in softball? Um, you know, not having that competition and not being in that that group of people. Um, you know, we, we were always in Massachusetts and nobody knew who we were. Um, so we were always the underdog, under, underdog um, and I guess that, that was it. And, you know, not knowing as a player that it was a disadvantage to be stuck in a gym for three, four months out of the year while other people were out there, but just figuring out. Um, I think that's why I like being the underdog, because while you're in it, you don't know. It, I didn't know it was a disadvantage to take ground balls on the gym floor. But then, you know, you go out into the world of softball and you see all these, these things that people get to do. Um, and I, I just think it helps just, you know, knowing you can just get a little bit better all the time. Now, what was it like uh, getting on the Olympic stage? I mean, that's, that's the pinnacle. Yeah. That's, the top of the, that's the top of the pyramid, as right. I call it. I always say all the hype that you see um, about the Olympics and everything, it's, it's all of that and more. It, you know, some events don't live up to the hype, and, and it's just like that. And it's just um, an honor to play with the best players in the country and to learn from them and to represent your country and all the people who play that sport. Um, it's it's a dream come true. And your most memorable softball moment? Oh gosh. Yeah, I know you've had <laughs> a few. A of them. Um, you know, I, I think I think making that that team. You know, I remember just being there and just the anticipation of like waiting to find out, you know, who's on it and um, you know, and winning that gold medal. It, I mean, it's just a, a feeling. You never look at things the same. You never listen to a national anthem the same because you remember that moment of being up on the podium and, and what it took for that. You know, there are thousands of kids playing softball. Mm -hmm. And they're, you know, let's go to the beginnings. They're all at that bottom of that pyramid where it's really big and a lot of people, but, you know, a lot of people want to get to the top of that pyramid. Any tips you can give kids on, on you know, how to get to their goal? Um, you know, never... Never let anybody tell you what you can and can't be. You gotta, you have to put the love and the, the time into it. It doesn't come from saying, "Oh, my dream is to, you know, make a national team." All the people that are there put in the time and the hard work, and just getting better at the small things. They don't do everything just from a young age. That you just stay very optimistic and you keep working hard and not letting things get you down. I mean. There are bumps along the way and setbacks, but if you could just, you know, stick with it and learn from those things. I always say the best players, it's not that they never make a mistake, they just bounce back faster than anybody else, and you use that to, to fuel you to get better. Learn from your mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, but the time is the deal. Right. It's anything it's, in life, just uh -huh. the time. If you want to be the best, right. you get, and a lot of people don't seem to want to put in the time, they just want to be the best. Right. You know, not, it's not one swing off of a tee or one pitch. There, there were times I would, you know, go up to like the schoolyard and just throw up against a wall. If, I, if you can't have a catcher, you can't make excuses. If you want to get better, you have to figure out ways to do that. And even, you know, I played in the pro league and I'd be in a batting cage setting up ropes and obstacles to try to figure out how to make the ball move and try to do things. And I think some young kids just want to be good. They don't want to do all the work that it takes to, to get there, and, and it's a lot of it. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time to come on the show today. Thank I've been trying to track you down when I heard you were here. I, I was told she was six over six foot yeah. with dark hair, so I'm waiting, watching this line go by, looking for yeah. six foot woman with dark hair. And then I ran into her last night. Thanks for the time. Oh, thank you very much. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket. Welcome back. Now that last short clip, well, that was my daughter, Amanda, telling you about my website, softballjunk.com. Make sure and save the code FPTV30 and you can save yourself $30 off your next softball bat. And you can use that code at checkout over and over and over and over. Share it with your friends. It's a really great deal. You just need to remember that code. That's it. And you got everything else you need. If you enjoy the show, I ask you at least check out my website, softballjunk.com, the next time you're looking for softball equipment. 
Now, if I offer a competitive price, well, please consider buying from me and show some support for all the free softball content I bring you week after week after week. I hope you enjoyed my interview today with Danielle Henderson, and please tell your friends about the Fast Pitch TV show. Make sure and take a look at my website, as I said earlier, at www.fastpitch.tv. Until next time, this is your host, Gary Leland, saying goodbye, and thanks for watching. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv. 